In this video, I'm going to cover BitTensor and its native token, the Tau token, and how you can download the BitTensor wallet and stake the native Tau token and earn over 15% APY from the time of this video. So what is BitTensor? BitTensor is an internet powered peer to peer intelligence market where intelligence is priced by other intelligence systems. Peers rank each other by training neural networks that learn the value of their neighbors. Wait, I, I, wait, I'm... So if that completely blew your mind, then make sure to subscribe because you might have to watch this video a couple times while I try to explain it to you like we're fifth graders. T -t -t Today, Junior! Okay, so imagine you're in this big group project at school and everyone has different skills and knowledge. Now, instead of just working together without any reward, we're gonna make a game out of it. So in this game, everyone rates each other on how good they are at performing certain tasks. So let's say you're extremely good at math. So everyone rates you really high on the math score. And if you help someone else with, let's say their math homework, they might even give you higher ratings because they really appreciate your help. Now these ratings are like points in a game. The more points you have, the more you get rewarded. But here's the tricky part. Some people might try to cheat the system by teaming up and giving each other high ratings, even if they really didn't do that great of a job. To stop this from happening too much, we create a special rule. It's like a secret code that makes sure that people can't cheat too easily. Even if some people still try to cheat, this rule makes sure the game is fair for everyone. So in the end, we have a cool game where everyone helps each other and gets rewarded for their hard work but we also have to make rules to make it fair for everyone that's playing. And that's how the BitTensor system works. But instead of homework, it's about training computers to be smarter. Now, as far as their tokenomics, it's exactly like Bitcoin in the sense that there's a total supply of 21 million tokens and there's a halving every couple years. At the current inflation schedule, this leads to 7,200 Tau tokens being issued into circulation every 24 hours, which is currently split evenly between the miners and the validators. Let's get started. So first, we're going to need to download the BitTensor wallet so that you can send your Tau tokens there. All right, so here's the BitTensor homepage. I'll put the link in the description below to make sure you can avoid clicking on any spam links. And then you're just gonna click over here where it says wallet and where it says download it here, you click here and it will pop up here in the Chrome store. I already have my BitTensor wallet on my Brave browser, so I'm gonna jump over to Google and download it for Chrome. And I click Add to Chrome, click Add Extension, and just like that, it's been added to my extension. Click BitTensor Wallet. This is a non-custodial wallet created by the OpenTensor Foundation. You're going to click Accept, and then you're going to hit this plus button to create a new wallet. Unless you already have one, you can click the Download to recover it. We're gonna hit Plus, and then you are going to need to write this down somewhere. I recommend writing this down on a sheet of paper somewhere off the grid. Uh, but you'll see you're going to get this 12 word sequence. Make sure you keep this because if you ever lose your password by using this seed phrase is how you can recover your wallet without the password. So we're going to hit next. What we'll account name? We'll hit test here. Create a password and then click create account. And just like that, you now have your BitTensor wallet and your BitTensor address where you can send your Tau tokens to as well. Now I'll also put the link in for taustats.io, which is where you can track your staking APR and purchase the Tau token if you need to. These are the different options of places where you can go and acquire Tau tokens. I use gate.io, but I had a friend actually send these to me because gate.io is not allowed in the US. Since then, KuCoin came out with it. Um, this is probably where I would try, uh, but we're gonna jump over to the staking section. All right, so we're gonna jump over to the wallet that I actually use for BitTensor, not the one in the Chrome browser. And you can see that I already have my Tau tokens here. And here it shows you the total that I have, and then you can see which ones I have free and then which ones I have staked. So let's head over here to the stake where we're gonna stake the remainder of our tokens. The next thing that pops up is the delegator's address where we're going to select a delegator. Now for me, the Tau validator pops up first. That's because I'm already using the Tau validator, 
but you can click here and show all and look at all of the other options that are available. I'm just gonna click Tau Validator because that's where my current stake is and it shows how much I already have staked. So now I'm just going to go down here and click stake and I'm gonna select max, but I'm going to subtract a little bit just in case it uses Tau tokens as gas fees. Hit continue and then you enter your password. Hit continue. Step four is to confirm that this is what I wanna stake. So I'll hit stake and it's begun transmitting. And that took about 30 seconds, but my transaction was successful and it doesn't look like it used any of my Tau token as gas fees. I would leave some just in case, maybe it doesn't show it because this UI isn't the most friendly, but then I can copy my wallet address here and I can go back over to TauStats.io and type in my address and hit enter and it will show me how much I have delegated my total balance and my ranking. And it will show my transactions on chain and how much I have staked. I hope you like this video. Make sure to like and subscribe and check out this video right here where I cover the next big project that I know you'll like.